We've made it to the end of another month, so let's talk about all the movies and Funko Pops that I picked up. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben and on this channel I love to talk about movies and TV and if you also love to talk about movies and TV, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. If you're new to these kinds of videos, basically I just go through the movies that I picked up. I have a big stack of Blu-rays and 4Ks and then I have two Funko Pops I talked about. This is a little bit of a mix of June and July. There wasn't enough stuff in June for its own video so I figured I would just put them together and make one video alone. But one more thing before we get started, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section what did you pick up? Any movies? Any Funko Pops, whatever it was, let me know down below. And let's start with the Funko Pops because if you watched my Hero Gasm reaction, The Boys, I love that show. One of my favorite characters though is Huey. I feel like I needed to get a Funko Pop of him. He's one of my favorite characters, like I said. And not only is he one of my favorite characters, but also Jack Quaid, who plays Huey, is one of my favorite actors working today. I think he's an awesome guy. I really love a lot of these characters in the show though. I definitely want to get a Starlight, a Homelander, a Butcher. Like there's so many good characters, so it's hard to choose which ones you want to have is Funko Pops. And then next up we have a very old Funko Pop, like actually one of the first Funko Pops that I know of. It's from one of my favorite movies, as in my top five favorite movies from The Dark Knight, Heath Ledger's The Joker. Now when I saw this at a Newberry Comics, I knew that I had to pick it up because not only is it one of the best characters in fiction, one of the best performances ever in a movie, and the icing on the cake is Joker is also from one of my favorite movies ever, so obviously I had to pick this up. But let's get into the movies. Now the first couple movies are, are from June so these next three are gonna be from June. The first one is The Fighter starring Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale. And this is an Academy Award winning movie. Christian Bale won an Oscar for this performance. Both him and Melissa Leo won their individual category supporting actor and actress, both very well deserving of the award. But the entire cast is great. Mark Wahlberg is really good too. It's a very uplifting story. It's one that actually got me pretty hyped up by the end. Of, I was in the third act and I was getting amped up. I was really in the movie. Not literally, but more so as I was really just invested in the movie. There's also a David O. Russell movie who has a new movie coming out later this year, Amsterdam. So if you're looking forward to that movie, I would definitely recommend watching this one beforehand because this is an excellent sports movie. And then another movie I picked up is a movie that I felt like was gonna look so good in 4K. So that's why I felt like I needed to pick it up. And it was at a good price, only $10. Raya and the Last Dragon. This movie came out last year. I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I think the animation is stunning. It is genuinely one of the best animated movies that I've ever seen. It's like scary how good the animation is. It looks genuinely realistic. And so I can't wait to one day just watch it on 4K, see how good that looks. I, I bet you it's gonna look so good. It's also still sealed. I bought it at a pre-owned store, but it was still sealed and $10, that's a steal for a 4K. Especially this is like almost a reference disc, I feel. And then I actually received this as a gift. It is my favorite movie of the year so far. Might be top by the end of the year. We'll have to see the batman now i mean what else can i say that hasn't already been said about this movie it's one of the first movies of the year that i actually give an a plus to that's how good this movie is in nearly every aspect it is perfect the directing cinematography performances score editing i still have yet to watch this movie on 4k i've seen it twice i saw it two times in theaters i'm looking forward to re-watching it but it is one that you need a lot of time for because it is three hours so one day sometime soon definitely before the end of the year i'm gonna rewatch it now these first two that i'm gonna mention are from target there are target exclusives and for whatever reason target this month had a sale on all of their target exclusive movies 4ks blu-rays whatever it is all their movies were on sale for more than 50% off. Taking advantage of that, I went and got Turning Red, which is one of the best animated movies of this year. I really enjoyed it. And Jungle Cruise, which is a movie that I had a ton of fun with that came out last year. Turning Red, I got for like 10 bucks and Jungle Cruise was like $8. For new 4K, especially Disney movies, that is a very rare thing to find. There are a couple other movies too that I hadn't seen and I didn't really feel like blind buying, but these were the two ones that I wanted to get. I felt worth the purchase. Turning Red, I think is gonna be another movie that's gonna look gorgeous on 4k because it has such vibrant colors then you have jungle cruise which is a movie that's a good summertime movie because it's kind of like a swashbuckling adventure it reminds you of pirates of the caribbean it's just a fun adventure that i had a good time with last year i'm looking forward to see if it still holds up if i'd still enjoy it as much as i did when i saw it in the theater but the director of this movie james colette sarah i'm sorry if i mispronounced that he's gonna be doing black adam reuniting with the rock again so i'll have to watch this one one more time before black adam and then these last couple of movies were all Amazon Prime Day pickups. Now, Amazon Prime Day is one of the best days of the year for really 
anyone who has Amazon Prime because they have so many deals, and especially on movies. And there were so many good deals on movies, but I tried to pace myself, trying not to get too, too much. One of the first movies I got, and actually a lot of these movies were only $5, Dead Poet Society. Now I watched this movie for the first time back in 2020, and I haven't revisited it since, but this movie is iconic for not only Robin Williams' performance, but also the iconic line. Carpe diem, that sees the day. Very good, Mr. Meeks. Meeks. It's a pretty sad movie, but it's a good movie to watch. It's definitely one that you should check out. Robin Williams is just so good. He is so dearly missed. It also has a young Ethan Hawke in it. It's a pretty inspiring movie. And then another movie that I'm a big fan of, also $5, Remember the Titans. Now this movie is awesome. One of the best sports movies, probably top five. Denzel is absolutely phenomenal. He just gets you pumped up. But the entire cast as well, the team dynamic, that brotherhood, the, you feel that bond. I've seen this movie probably like five times already and I can't wait to rewatch it now that I own it on Blu-ray. If you haven't seen Remember the Titans, what are you doing? There ain't no mountain high enough. And now here's another movie that I saw for the first time in 2020. I'm actually going to be doing a ranking of this franchise because there's a new movie coming out in the next couple of days. That's Predator. This is the original movie from the 80s with Arnold and Get to the Chopper. This is a schlocky action movie, but it's so enjoyable. I mean, Arnold's a badass. I actually have a Funko Pop of his character somewhere down here. It's a classic because it's an iconic 80s action movie. It's a kind of a turn your brain off movie and I could dig it. And then one more of these $5 pickups, I got The Prestige from Christopher Nolan. Now, do I sound like a broken record already? Another movie that I watched for the first time in 2020. There was a lot of time to watch older movies. Come on, don't blame me. And I was really impressed by this one. This is one of Christopher Nolan's more underrated movies. When people talk about the best of Christopher Nolan's filmography, you obviously have the Dark Knight trilogy, Inception, Interstellar. He has a lot of great movies, but this is one that I feel like gets overlooked. Another Christian Bale movie, he's great in this movie, but also Hugh Jackman, I love Hugh Jackman. There's a twist ending, I remember watching it and being shocked. If you haven't seen this movie, I definitely recommend it. It's about magicians and that's all you should know going into it. But the last movie in this pile, the last Amazon Prime Day pickup, that's In the Heights, another movie from last year actually. I was waiting for the right price on this one to purchase it. It was only $10. 4K with the slip, that's a steal. This is another great summer movie and it'll make you warm watching it because this movie is set during like the hottest day of the year in New York. And the environment that is set up, you feel like you're with these characters almost drowning in your sweat. It's kind of crazy, but it's also pretty impressive. So many awesome songs, musical numbers, some great choreography. Because of when it was released last year, it was released like in June, I feel like it did go overlooked when people were talking about their best of the year. It was one of my personal favorites. Actually, at one point, it was my favorite movie of 2021. Then it obviously went down, but it's still a fantastic movie. But guys, that is it for all the Blu-rays and Funko Pops I picked up. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments section what did you pick up. I would love to hear it. And also hit that like and subscribe button, plus that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos if you enjoyed this one. And like I mentioned earlier, I will have a Prey review and a Predator movie ranking. So look forward to that and many more videos coming soon. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.